Hello, wonderful people. Welcome back to my channel, The Teacher's Best Friend. This is Mary Lou Areño. So for this week, I am going to share some information on teaching certification in the United States. So I know there are so many of you who got a job offer in different states. And uh, some of you also are on the process of uh, preparing for teaching certification in the United States. So I would like to share those information to you. And this afternoon, I will give you some examples uh, from five states and uh, we'll visit their websites and I want you to stay tuned until the end. Are you ready? So let's begin. The topic is on teaching certification and what are the required documents for different states. Okay, let's see. So uh, let's begin with uh, Arizona, the states of Arizona. So Arizona is known as the Grand Canyon state. And uh, I will show you how to get certified in the US and what are the requirements needed. So let's see uh, their website. Um, it's called Arizona Department of Education or AZED.gov. So we will, this is the website of the Arizona Department of Education. So if you will see the URL, it says www.wazed.gov educators um, dash certification. And this is the website of the Arizona Department of Education under teacher certification. So if you click here on the right, it says certificates and requirements. So let's uh, explore it. And there are so many certificates and requirements. So first they have the pre-K to 12 teaching certificate. They also have substitute and R a JROTC certificate, alternative teaching, adult education, international teaching, or they call it the foreign uh, teacher certification. This is for the teacher exchange. So that is interesting because once you arrive in Arizona and I know there are a lot of process to do. In order for you to get certified right away, you need to use the international teaching certificate. And then this lasts for a year. And after a year, you should be able to apply for standard certification, uh, cert standard certificate. And uh, there are procedures here. You can choose to apply online because now it's uh, COVID-19, so they don't usually accept physical uh, application or physical visit in their office. So you can apply online. And there's also a link here that says apply online. It will direct you to the portal of the certification and uh, you will just fill out the necessary information, upload the documents. So what is so important about applying for certification in the United States is you need to have your credential evaluation because your transcript and diploma in your country, uh, you need to get credential evaluation so that uh, they see the comparable, what is, uh, if it is comparable to the degree in the United States. So let's click the PDF form of the international teaching uh, requirements or application. So here, so these are the requirements for the international teaching certificate if you are new in the US. So first it says application for international teaching certification. That's the form. If you click that, it will lead you to the application form. You also need the fingerprint that it's called IVP. They will capture your, your fingerprints and then they will run a check and then they will issue you a clearance card. And usually that's the requirement. The IVP fingerprint card and your credential evaluation of your transcript. So those are uh, the two requirements. And also verification of teaching placement. That is the letter from your employer in the US. 
saying that you have a job in the US and you are placed in, let's say, you are an English teacher or a science teacher or a special ed teacher, it should show there in the verification of teaching placement. It's also a form that your employer, the HR or the superintendent can fill out and so you submit it. And also you need a, a photocopy of your valid J-1 visa. So it, it's usually in your passport plus your DS-2019. So just those requirements and you get an international teaching certificate in the United States. So what happened if you um, finish that one year, you need to apply for a standard. And in order for you to get those standard certificates, there are exams that you need to take. And this is the website where you can visit for whatever uh, subjects uh, you would like to take. And usually they have a reviewer here. It's called AEPA or the Arizona Educator Proficiency Assessment. Okay, so you can visit that website and start reviewing. And then in a year, you can uh, take the tests once you pass it and then they will issue you a standard certificate after your international teaching certification. So that is the requirement for the state of Arizona. Now let's move to the next state. The next state that I would like to share is the state of Texas. So um, see the picture that is the downtown Dallas and we will visit the requirements also in Texas. If you would like to uh, apply for teaching certification. So this is the website of Texas Education Agency. Under the certification, you can explore the requirements here. It says becoming a teacher in Texas or becoming a Texas teacher. Let us explore. So here, the requirement is you have to have a bachelor's degree, of course, uh, in, in your related field, like uh, you know the general education, the high school specialization, like science, English, math and all those. And um, they also have examination. You need to pass an exam for in order to get the standard certificate. Pass the exam. And then here, there are resources also that you can explore. And then you have to submit a state application and complete your fingerprint. The reason why uh, they always ask for fingerprint in every state it's because it's, it's a law. Every individual who work with children, whether you work for the school or you work for other agencies, if you are dealing with children, they are requiring you to get your background clearance because that is a, a US law. So becoming a teacher in Texas, you have to have also a standard certification and then um, what are the requirements here for alternative certification program information? You can, you can explore and click here, becoming a certified Texas educator through alternative certification, okay? So these are some of the information that you can read and how to apply for standard certificate or uh, standard teaching certification in Texas. But what I would like you to do is uh, explore their website. There is uh, here Texas educators, a lot of information here about teachers you can find. And then certification, it's there. You can go back to that. And then um, what you can do also is you need to set up an account. Okay, as a, as a teacher in Texas, they have what you call the username and password, and you can access all the information uh, that is only for the teachers. Okay, so here you can explore each uh, tab. They even have salary and service record and all that. Okay, and um, 
As long as you have those uh, requirements, your bachelor's degree, and you have a credential evaluation, it's good that you can present uh, other documents like your experience in teaching and also your copy of your visa and application form, then you are okay to apply for certification. And I don't see any uh, international certificate here. So you can jump right away with the standard certification for Texas, okay? So the other state that I would like to share with you is the state of Alaska. And I see a lot of teachers are getting accepted to teach in Alaska. Yeah. Alaska is uh, a huge state. And uh, I know there are a lot of uh, teaching vacancies there. And several of the Filipino teachers who applied are already uh, receiving job offer. And now it's time to get uh, certified in Alaska. So, um, what are the general information? Uh, there's application, checklist and forms, okay? And what kind of certification? So let's click that for teaching certificates. So it says here, for initial teacher, two to three years checklist. So they have a one, four, two or three year checklist. There is an initial teacher out of state initial teacher program enrollment and second initial teacher application. So I am not uh, sure of the level, but um, you can consider yourself if you are coming from um, other country as out of state. And they also have the standard application here. So let's try the initial teacher out of state checklist document that we can open. So here, initial out-of-state teacher certificate. Um, this is their application. So you have to have your name, your uh, date of birth. And when they ask for your social security number, usually you don't have that uh, unless you arrive in the US. So um, you can just note that you don't have a US social security. And usually they only use your date of birth. And once you arrive in the US, that is the first thing that you can do, apply for social security. And um, there are the types of certificates, the basic competency exam, and what are the approved Alaska studies, uh, you can click the link. But here, completion of a bachelor degree from accredited university. In order for your uh, university from other country to be accredited, you need to have those credential evaluation. So once they are comparable in the US, then that is also considered as accredited or recognized in, in the US, okay? And you can also add some endorsements here, endorsement application. And there is instruction on how to apply, okay? So you can click the link and explore go to their website and look for their initial out of state teacher certificate. So let's let's move to the other one. The next one is the Montana. It's called um, OPI or the Office of Public Instruction in in Montana. And this is also how uh, the website looks like if you will look at the educator licensure, which license should you apply? So you can click that and um, explore, okay? And license options and supplemental forms, it's all here. Apply for uh, check your license status. You can even do that. Like you submit an application and it's not coming to your mail then you can go and check in their website. So let's click this one. Which license should I apply for? So you will see the, the different uh, types of license that they offer. Okay, so they have the class one and class two. Um, class one, 
professional teacher's license. Those who hold a master's degree in education or an endorsed teaching area from regionally accredited college or university or obtain certification by the National Board for Professional Teaching Standards. So that is a class one. When you have your master's degree, you get a class one. And then if you have a class two, those are the bachelor's degree holder in an accredited university or college. And class three, if you are planning to be an administrator, like the principal or vice principal or uh, superintendent and all those administrative uh, positions. Class four is the career and technical education. Career and technical education, this is usually for high school teachers who would like to teach, uh, let's say electives like computer, woodworking, automotive, uh, technology. Those are under the career and technical education or what they call CTE. And I know most of the states are offering that type of license because CTE is one thing that uh, United States is promoting because it focuses on vocational education. So if, if a student, a high school graduate student took a lot of a CTE in high school or vocational courses and they don't have plan to proceed to four year university, then they can easily find a job because those courses were offered in high school, okay? So that's the certification requirement for Montana. And um, you can also apply online. So most, most of the sites of the education department are all online at this time due to the pandemic and closure. So let's move to the next state. It's called the Florida Department of Education. So it, this is also their website. Look at the URL on top. You can take note of that. And here, a uh, new Florida certification. If uh, you look at here, it says out of state certified teacher or administrator. So you can click that because you are not from Florida. There's also graduate of teacher education program because each state they have uh, an alternative program where they uh, encourage uh, teachers or people to go into teaching because of you know, as you know, there is a shortage of teacher in the United States. And if you are foreign trained graduate or non-citizen or high school. And I think uh, you can see, you can also explore this foreign trained graduate or non-citizen. If you are coming from other country, let us uh, check this website for the foreign academic training. So here, look at that. They, they even have a uh, warning here that you do not submit your original foreign transcripts, okay? You have to, it says here, um, do not send original foreign diplomas or original foreign transcripts to the Bureau of Educator Certification. Documents submitted to the Bureau of Education Certification become part of the applicant's permanent certification record and cannot be returned. So it means they don't need an original, they just need a copy. And, and they are talking here of the credential evaluation, okay? So um, you can explore here, it says apply. So if you click that, you can apply online. So here for the non-citizens, an applicant who is not a U.S. citizen may apply for the statement of status eligibility. However, appropriate immigration status must be established through the United States Citizenship and Immigration Services. So in the case of uh, most applicants under the J-1 visa, that is already an appropriate status, okay? You don't need to be a green card or a citizen to be able to work. As long as you have a valid visa, which is a J-1, then you are uh, ready, you are ready to apply, okay? So you will 
click here, apply, and that's, it will lead you to the application portal, okay? So uh, there is even a video that you can watch to set up your username and password. There is a instruction here, begin here by signing up. Okay, after you sign up, you will be able to uh, get in. And um, usually they ask for social security or date of birth. If you don't have a social security, just put all zeros. And usually there are uh, nine numbers. So just put all zeros. And then when you get your social security, you can just update that one. So you can go and check the video and learn how to apply for certification in the state of uh, Florida. So I think um, the only thing that you need to do, let's say you're applying in other states, let's say New York or uh, California, all you need to do is look for their website, okay? Look for their website and type the education department. Like for example, New York Education Department or a public education, New Mexico public education, and you can explore their certification requirements. So, so for today, I just shared with you examples uh, from different uh, states, the five states, and then you can uh, move forward and explore more states by visiting their education department website. So I hope uh, you learned some information in this video and I thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and you can also write your comment down below on the teacher's best friend and suggest any topic if you have any topic in mind. So thank you for watching. See you next time and to God be the glory. Bye for now.